is exercise 13G of integration. Thirteen G question number one and it says the diagram shows part of the curve with the equation. <coughs> I just need to get hold of these controls. The diagram shows part of the curve with the equation y is equals to x square plus two and the line with the equation y is equals to six. The line cuts the curve at the point A and B. <coughs> Find the coordinates of A and B. So first equation is y is equals to x square plus 2. Second equation is y is equals to 6. So we have two equations. We can solve them simultaneously. x square plus 2 is equals to 6. x square is equals 6 minus 2. x square equals 4. Square root both sides x is equals to plus minus 2 so we know what the value of x is and we already know that y is same so for a and b a is x minus 2 y6 b is x plus 2 y6 first part done we needed the coordinates second says find the area of the finite region bounded by the line a b and the curve <coughs> bounded by the line a b and the curve so line y is equals to 6 and curve is y is equals to x square plus 2 so we need to find this area it could be done in two different ways one is we can find the area under the line between x minus 2 2 and the x-axis first and then subtract this area in green which is under the curve so if i consider that as a rectangle i can say area under the line y is equals to 6 is area is equals to length into breadth and this is from minus 2 to 2 it is 4 and this height is 6 units so it is 24 unit square then area under the curve area is equals to integral y dx from minus 2 to 2 so minus 2 yes Mohammed. first 113g i'll do it right away I'll do it. I'll do it. We're just about to finish question one. Then I'll come over that. So this is x square plus two dx integrating. It becomes x cube over three plus two x from two minus two. Now upper limit minus <coughs> lower limit. So this is 2 cube by 3 plus 4. This is 20 by 3 minus minus 2 cube divided by 3 minus 4 is minus 20 by 3. So 20 by 3 plus 20 by 3 is equals to 40 by 3. So area under the curve is 40 by 3. This was the curve area under the curve is 40 by 3 but this complete area was 24 so shaded area in this red section is 24 minus 40 by 3. You get 30.66 and so on. Question 2. The diagram shows the finite region R bounded by the curve 
with the equation y is equals to 4 x minus x square so question number 2 y is equals to 4 x minus x square first thing and line y is equals to 3 second and the curve appears like this so this is y is equals to 3 this is y is equals to 4 x minus x square it is given it intersects at 4 a and b and we need to find this shaded area in green first part says find the coordinates of a b and then the area <clears throat> so okay for a b i'm going to solve them simultaneously 4x minus x square is equals to 3 rearranging x square minus 4x plus 3 is equals to 0 going for midterm breaking x square 3 and this is minus 3x minus x taking out x is common x minus 3 minus 1 x minus 3 is equals to 0 x minus 1 times x minus 3 and first value is x is equals to 1 second value is x is equals to 3 so we know the coordinates of a and b a is x 1 y 3 b is x 3 y 3 first part done second part you need to solve for area between these two lines <clears throat> so this is it if i am solving for the curve part first i will get this complete area from 1 to 3 <clears throat> area is equals to integral 1 to 3 and the equation is 4x minus x square dx so we integrate 4x square over 2 minus x cube over 3 3 and 1 so this becomes 2x square minus x cube over 3 from 3 to 1 upper limit minus lower limit 2 into 3 square minus 3 cube over 3 upper limit minus 2 into 1 square minus 1 by 3 load limit <coughs> and solving for the value 2 into 3 square minus 3 cube by 3 is actually 9 so this is 9 minus 2 minus 1 by 3 is 5 by 3 so 22 by 3 under the curve now we are done with this section which is under the curve and I need to know the area under the line which is this part so from 1 to 3 the length is actually 2 and this height is 3 so rectangle area of the rectangle is length into breadth length is 2 breadth is 3 it is 6 so larger area that means this complete part complete section which is 22 by 3 so area of shaded region is equals to 22 by 3 minus 6 is 4 by 3 remember do we have same answers that's great now you see we did this question using rectangle and curve what if we choose to do it the other way using integration for all <clears throat> let me do the second part again using integration only so this was the case and this is the line this is y is equals to 3 this is y is equals to 4x minus x square 4x minus x square and we already know that this is x1 and this is x3 so may I write that the area between the curve this shaded in black is actually from 1 to 3 upper curve 4x minus x square minus the lower curve dx any issues in this 
this is upper curve minus lower curve even if you write it the other way around you will have a negative answer but the value would be exactly 4 by 3 so let's solve this without going into like rectangular shapes and all so this is 4x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 minus 3x and 1 to 3 simplifying before substituting 2x square minus x cube by 3 minus 3x 1 2 3 upper limit first 2 into 3 square minus 3 cube by 3 minus 3 into 3 so upper limit minus lower limit 2 into 1 square minus 1 cube by 3 minus 3 into 1 using calculator this is 2 into 3 square minus 3 square 3 cube is 27 by 3 9 minus 9 again this is actually 0 minus <coughs> 2 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 3 is minus 4 by 3 so this is plus 4 by 3 unit square so no matter how you do it your answer is always same 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 getting it number sec second the same question you asked 13g question 2 Okay, <clears throat> and now let's see if we find a different shape. Look at this question number five. If we have to find this shaded area, we can do it this way. We will find this value of x and we know this value already that is zero. X is equals to something. These two will be our limits. And you can do it again by integration or by using shapes rectangle minus area under the curve. So rectangle would be 1 by 2 into base into height is 12 and area under the curve from 0 to x. How will we get this x by solving these two equations simultaneously 4x plus x square is equals to 12. Any issues in understanding this question? You have to understand which two parts you need to subtract or add. In this case, it is subtraction. In order to find, in order to find the shaded region, area of shaded region, what you need to know is the area under this graph. In order to find the area of the shaded region, you need to know which two areas you have to sub subtract. So you will first find this area under the graph and then subtract from this rectangle and you are left with R. So R is basically equal to rectangle minus area under the curve. And how do you get that? You do that by integration. Both of them or first find the area of the rectangle and then the curve. Is it clear? Now look at question number six. The diagram shows a sketch of the part of the curve with equation y is equal to x square plus one and the line with equation y is equal to seven minus x. The finite region R1 is bounded by the line and the curve. The finite region R2 is below the curve and the line 
and is bounded by the positive x-axis y-axis as shown in the diagram find the area of r1 and find the area of r2 r1 is the area in yellow part so let's do it so exercise 13 g question number six first focusing only on r1 which is this part so we need to know the points of intersection we have two equations y is equals to x square plus one y is equals to seven minus x so solving them simultaneously x square plus one is equals to seven minus x but rearranging plus x minus six is equals to zero going for midterm breaking x square plus three x minus two x minus six equals to zero x plus three minus 2 into x plus 3 and x minus 2 into x plus 3 so two of the values are x is equals to 2 and x is equals to minus 3 so we know this value right here is minus 3 and this intersection point is 2 again it is your choice you choose to do them by integration alone or you want to use the shapes method I am going for this shape this shape under the straight line is actually a trapezium and I know the equation of this line which is y is equals to 7 minus x we know the values that is x is equals to minus 3 and x is equals to 2 minus 3 and 2 so when we substitute these values if I substitute 2 in this equation I get 5 so where this is 2 comma 5 indirectly I know the height and for this part when I substitute minus 3 in it I get 10 so this is minus 3 comma 10 so actually I know the height of this part so area of trapezium area of trapezium is 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides into height height is distance between parallel lines which is 5 so 1 by 2 into 15 into 5 15 into 5 is 75 by 2 is 37.5 any doubts till now 37.5 this is the area of this complete section now I'm going to find the area under the curve which is this blue section equation of curve is x square plus 1 so area is equals to x square plus 1 we're integrating it with respect to x from minus 3 to 2 so this becomes x3 over 3 plus x upper limit lower limit so 2 cube over 3 plus 2 upper limit minus lower limit minus 3 cube over 3 into minus 3 so what do we get is 2 cube by 3 plus 2 is 14 by 3 minus minus 3 cube by 3 minus 3 is minus 12 <coughs> So finally we add them sorry about that minus 12 so 14 by 3 plus 12 is 50 by 3 
so area under the curve is 50 by 3 and area under the trapezium was 37.5 so 37.5 minus 50 by 3 is area of r1 20.83 sorry Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get it again. Is it clear or is there a confusion? That's good. That's good. Always. No, 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 no. Uh, 37.5 was the area of the trapezium. This complete thing, this complete thing, the entire thing. Because we solved for the straight line first, this entire thing this we got 37.5 and then we solved for the area under the curve x square plus 1 which was this in red and then we subtracted these two areas this is not upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is 2 lower limit is minus 3 We just did this trapezium, this complete trapezium minus area under the curve to find the yellow part labeled as R1. Now for the second section to find R2, I can see that this right here is actually a triangle. <clears throat> there are different ways you can think about that to find this blue section. There are different ways. So if you consider this, we can say that area of this triangle, area of triangle minus this section, do you agree? For R2, one way of solving it is this. One way is this. Other could be that we have this curve we have this straight line second method could be split this into make this one triangle and find this shaded area and then add them you may have different approach all are correct so this equation is y is equals to x minus 7 x minus 7 or minus x what was that 7 minus x so this is y is equals to 7 minus x and the curve was y is equals to x square plus 1 so I'm going for this approach and we already know that this value is this was this was 2 this is 2 and this is 0 so to find this area in red I'm solving for this area is equals to lower limit upper limit equation is x square plus 1 dx x cube by 3 plus x 0 to 2 so upper limit 2 cube by 3 plus 2 minus the lower limit 0 cube by 3 plus 0 so that is 2 cube is 8 by 3 8 divided by 3 plus 2 is 14 by 3 and this part is 0 so 14 by 3 this shaded area right here is 14 by 3 will keep it for now and now I'm solving for the triangle I need to find this point at this point we know that y is 0 so y is equals to 7 minus x when y is 0 value of x is 7 so if this is 7 this base length is actually 5 and we know this height we solved it in the previous part which was 5 again and this height is again 5 so 1 by 2 into base into height is 
so 12.5 for this section 14 by 3 for this section so total area total shaded area is 14 by 3 plus 12.5 is 17.166 unit square you should always write this in mixed form or fractions I'm having an issue with my calculator that's why I'm converting them into decimals <coughs> getting it okay we just went over this let's discuss it now find the area of r1 r1 is clearly integration of this section from this to this any doubts so let's solve for values of x this is y <coughs> let me skip this part x square into x plus 4 is equals to 0 so x square is equals to 0 x plus 4 equals to 0 so x is minus 4 and x is 0 so this is minus 4 and 0 so area of r would be integration x cube plus 4x square dx from minus 4 to 0 area of r1 so this won't be an issue then it says find b and what is given to find b r is bounded by the curve negative x-axis finite region r2 in blue is bounded by the curve the positive x-axis and a b a b is a straight line where a is 2 comma 24 b is x b and 0 yes I'll do it. Sure. <coughs> Ten A. Ten A says find the area of R one. So area is equals to integration from minus four to zero. X cube plus four x squared dx. Where did we get this minus 4 and 0? This is right here. Solving it, uh, placing it equal to 0, where it intersects the x-axis. And now we go for integration x 4 by 4 plus 4x cube by 3 from minus 4 to 0. This, this is the case this curve intersects the x-axis so that means y is equals to x cube plus 4x square and y is equals to 0 so we solve these two simultaneously and get x minus 4 and 0 and for the second part The finite region R1 is bounded by the curve and the negative x-axis. The finite region R2 is bounded by the curve, the positive x-axis and AB. Where A is x2, Y is 24. So we know this point. That is x2. B is x, B, Y0. Find okay this is the statement area of r1 and r2 is equal so to solve second part we have to complete the first a part both the areas are equal so i'm completing this 0 power 4 by 4 plus 4 into 0 cube by 3 upper limit minus lower limit minus 4 power 4 by 4 plus 4 into minus 4 cube by 3 so 0 minus 
This is negative one sixty four by three sixty four by three. Is sixty four by three. So this area is sixty four by three. Now it said that R one and R two are equal, and we know it is from zero to two. Equation is same. so we can copy this equation that area is equals to integral from 0 to 2 x cube plus 4x square and second part is this thing plus 1 by 2 into base this base length is b minus 2 into this height it was given i think 24 this height is 24 into 24 and this is 64 by 3 x 4 by 4 plus 4 x cube by 3 from 0 to 2 to 1 times to 12 times so this is 12 b Minus twelve two times twenty four. So sixty four by three plus twenty four is sixty four divided by three plus twenty four. One thirty six by three. One thirty six by three. I took this twenty four on the other side, and then solving for upper limit. Minus lower limit plus twelve b, and we get two raised to power four divided by four plus. This we get one thirty six by three minus forty four by three is equals to twelve b. <clears throat> so one thirty six by three minus forty four by three. Is ninety two by three is equals to twelve b. B is equals to twenty three by nine. Done. Is it clear? Yeah, yeah. Muhammad Ahad. Yeah, yeah. I'm forgetting your voice. Yeah, yeah. Left. He was here. and then we have a mixed exercise for revision